Okay, I'm doing this. Hey guys, um, welcome back to my first video on our thought. Let me get in the frame here. I need to work on my lighting. So I thought today I wanted to talk about my favorite brands um, in fashion in general. And this is going to be in no chronological order. I just want to tell you guys my favorite brands and tell you about some brands that I've been really liking the past years that are kind of like my aesthetic and um, and this is gonna change because I feel like I discover so many brands every day but okay so starting with the first one is Dion Lee. Dion Lee is an Australian designer I think they're based in New York right now and they're doing this really like corset kind of work um, gender fluid kind of vibe I really love like the structuring of it and the pieces and the colors I really like and I just think it looks really sleek and elegant and they have like these really cool cutouts in some areas of the corsets and pieces so yeah definitely Dion Lee I also did a piece for my bachelors about Dion Lee so I really just really love that um, second brand is gonna be Iliad Emil which is a Danish Danish brand? Yeah. Ilya de Me, they're Ilya de Me. Okay. I need a sip. Meal. They are from Copenhagen, Denmark, but I think they just recently did Fashion Week. And I just really love their aesthetics. Like, they have this really cool brand. Um, brands. How do you say? They have this really cool brand uh, aesthetics, like they mix a lot with architecture and it's a lot of black and white cutout design but also the jackets are really cool. I really like their leather jackets and their puffers, they work, work really well with puffers and um, light and dark design and I think they also are very sympathetic like the guys that are doing it. I think they're really cool um, boys, guys. They look very friendly and I feel like it's just a very positive vibe that I get from them. Love that brand. So um, yeah, I, honestly I would wear everything that they're doing. It just looks so like chic. I just like how they play with materials and different things. Um, next brand. Let me sip. Yeah, so ne next brand, obviously, you know my boy, Ricky Owens. I, honestly, I just, with Rick Owens, it's like, it's really hyped, obviously, but it's really about the the vibe. I think it's really similar to Ilya Remiel, actually, what they're doing. A bit different with the coloring and obviously more focused on extravagant design, but... I just love Rick. Like honestly, I think he's such a cool, sympathetic guy. Like if I like the guy from a brand or the, the designer, you just know you have me sold on the brand. No, I just really love also the fashion, but yeah, so Rick Owens. So, so far we have Ilya Demille, we have Dion Lee, we have Rick Owens, next brand. So next brand is Butter. Butter is a bit like upcoming brands. Um, they're really colorful. They remind me of something oceanic. They work also with sustainability a lot. So it's B-O-T-T-E-R and I think they recently did Paris Fashion Week. Why I like this brand is because I feel like the story is really authentic. I like that they include all the colors. I like that they include like the Caribbean, Caribbean, Caribbean flair kind of that the brand has and I think they could go really far so yeah I really like that brand um next up we have Y projects obviously Y projects um I mean what can I say we all know like Glenn Martins is like a amazing designer and I also love his diesel work I know it's a bit like um some people love it, some people hate it, but I personally like what they're doing at White Project. And it's definitely a brand I love, and I love Glenn Martins. And yeah, I love also Diesel. I, I got it, I like Diesel, and I don't care what you guys have to say. 
Um, <coughs> next up would be, uh, uh, uh. See, I'm really doing this random, just like off my head. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking. Go to the water. Like, who else do I really fuck with? Um, let me check my Pinterest. Oh, Otto Linger. Otto Linger is a German brand from Berlin and they are doing really like cool kind of women's wear, knitwear kind of. I think it looks really ethereal, their work, and really like patchworky. And I just really like the aesthetics. It's really ethereal, fairy, it gives me ethereal, fairy vibes. And it's just like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's special how they rearrange pieces together. Uh, Kiko, I can't pronounce his name, Kastaninov. Kastaninov? Kastaninov? Um, Kiko Kastaninov is also really, really cool. His uh, recent collab with Essex, I think, did really well. And he's been on the rise for a while. I think he's a CSM graduate. So, yeah, he really has that. I feel like you can really see that he has the UK influence, definitely, in his brand. But the pieces look really cool. TBH, I don't look a lot for menswear. But it looks really cool. Okay. Next. Okay, next up, who do I have? I think these are like really like my top top. Yeah. Ah, yeah, streetwear brand. I don't. Um. Yeah, I think that's about it for now. I'm gonna do a part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, let me show you my makeup. Honestly, I'm just getting used to this because I'm doing podcasting anyways and after that I have so much time. So I just want to do a bit more YouTube and try this out and show you guys my favorite things. So I hope you guys like this. Stay tuned for more videos and I hope you guys check out the brands. They're really cool. And I'll see you guys in the next video.